I've sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey team, this is Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Got a fun video with the Kabarovs, this time with Legendary Mod. And uh, my goodness, this thing, uh, I, I didn't think it would be this powerful. And a correct, correction to my previous um, videos about it, but the detection uh, will take you out to 8.7 if you do take Legendary Mod and instead of Concealment. So I, originally I thought it would go out to 9.6, but that's if you didn't build... Uh, for the uh, concealment and uh, the uh, the commander build. So really, really awesome. Before we get like, subscribe button below, appreciate all the support. If you guys uh, see value in the channel, hit that thumbs at the bottom there, like, subscribe button, hit the bell button for notifications of upcoming videos. Thanks, guys, for supporting the channel. At 4,000 subs, we're going to do another premium giveaway. So as always, thanks so much for uh, building a great community and having great discussions. So here we go. Kabarovsk. So one of my favorite zombie-like ships, kind of like the uh, Nutrishimi, the Soviet kind of line of zombie ships where they have the improved heals and just incredible, incredible uh, speed uh, of juking abilities. Uh, I think one of the best juking abilities out there uh, with like, for example, Zorki, Kabarovsk, uh, Nutrishimi, dodges great, great shells, uh, especially a destroyer player. And if I had to sum it up, I would say Kabarovsk is like a mini cruiser. Your detection is just right there at or maybe some of the lowest light cruisers. And you got incredible accurate guns, uh, very, very low trajectory arcs, great acceleration. You can see right there, juke and shells back and forth. You're going to see us take a lot of potential damage. I mean, if you're taking that much potential damage as a destroyer player, you're doing great work for your team. And if you can see right here, I'm literally just trying to blast this Bismarck right here from a distance. And that is the bread and butter of this build right here. Really, you are just a, another Smolensk, uh, if I had to say it. But this time, you are armored. I mean, you don't have a Citadel, so anybody that tries to shoot at you will get overpinned with those heavy AP shells if you angle correctly. And, of course, you're also juking and dodging. Look at this. Shells are going left and right and annoying. And you literally have um, slim pickings here where you can just pick back and forth, back and forth, just choose, well, hey, whatever you want to shoot at. Hey, uh, I'll shoot this guy now because nobody's really going to shoot at a cab off. So they're going to like, ah, he's not really worth it at this point. Even though the guns are freaking accurate as hell. And they hit with like a truck against destroyer players, and they are devastating against uh, cruiser players. And I think cruiser players really hate the Cabros because it is so annoying to shoot against and fire against. Look, at 11 and a half kilometers, which is not in secondary range of most battleships, it's it's you would think that's not very far away, but for a Des Moines, it is far away. I mean, look, the these shells are really difficult to connect with. Uh, and unless you've really been playing this game a long, long time, uh, especially newer players have a difficult time hitting the Kabaros. Maybe you have experienced clan battle players that are in the higher leagues, really can hit this guy, but I haven't really come across too, too many people that can shoot long range distance that, or have the patience for it. And you can see right here, all we're doing, and again, man, battleships, I'm sorry, you're almost obsolete with this build. I mean, you're literally just going to get melted down. Look, he just gave up. He's not going to even aim at us anymore. And that's the power of what a, a good gunboat destroyer player is going to do is literally hold down the left mouse button and literally aim with persistence and consistency. You're going to nail these shots and start, like I said, fires is your friend, or your, uh, sorry, fires are your friend in the World of Warship game for destroyer players because you are literally getting passive income damage when you're not really shooting at a guy anymore. Look, my, my hit point tick mark up at the top right there, potential damage, I'm sorry, major damage is going up like crazy. We're already taking 600,000 potential damage already, and we're just gonna keep continuously setting fires, and that's the power. I saw a player, I think one of the World of Warship channels uh, did a replay, and I just saw the Kabarov's legendary build, and I was going, okay, let's take a look at it. He was literally just going from ship to ship, starting as many fires as he could. Literally, this is like the next Smolensk, and I never realized this. I was like, wow, no wonder people hated the Kabaros back in the day so much, because it was so annoying to play against. And it's hard to hit, hard to shoot at, and literally, it's look, not only is the alpha damage ridiculous, you can see we're getting 1,000 hit points every uh, few seconds there, and we're starting fires like a match. I mean, literally, it is insane of what this thing can do. Here we are back on the Des Moines again, because why? Look at where all my players are at. 
they're in the back they're in the back reversing and hauling i'm in literally at the uh, the front alpha line here i'm literally just the only guy taking uh shots and being shot at and i'm just gonna keep doing this because i'm gonna be that harassing annoying player to literally get the enemy team to fire me and not my teammates there's another fire right there because why the, the, the strategy i'm playing right here is literally be that sponge that soak up, soaks up all the damage to your teammates that are literally being you know, really scaredy cats. I don't know what other word there is to say. I don't want to say bad words here. Scaredy cats in the back, they're not going to do anything unless somebody leads from the front and literally takes the fight to the enemy so that, hey, you take the pressure off finally. Uh, oh, God, a submarine of all people blows up the Des Moines. I'm sorry, guys. That's the nature of submarine warfare right there. But he was so distracted by me that he didn't even think about looking at the, the his check, his six, or look at his flank. So he just, just got blasted right there. Notice, uh, look at this. Even the Gdansk has to run away. Can't get his guns to bear. And look, we're hitting him from 11.3 out. And, and these guns are really, really, did I say enough freaking accurate? I like the shell arcs and the trajectories. They're just comfortable enough to shoot at these ranges. And man, look at that. We're still getting his damn taking on his steering and engine right there. I mean, just one little shell can do all that. I mean, it is powerful. So, and look, we got these nice heals right here that heal a lot. Nice, decent cooldown. And it heals a lot of the ship coming back. 3.5 second reload with the Fearless Brawler active. Pretty awesome. And then we have the engine boost. The torpedoes are trash. Don't even bother using them. Maybe for like YOLO runs. But look at what we're doing right there. One million potential damage in the first seven minutes of the game. That is how much ordnance was launched at us. And we got 80,000 uh, damage with six fires. And we literally are just holding our literally, I think by solo, we are literally holding the entire team back. And that is the power of what the legendary mod is doing. And it's almost insane, almost borderline broken OP because literally you are just taking your pick at whoever you want to start a fire on and literally just firing. Look, 1200 damage right there. Okay, Yoshino fires one of the most accurate, um, I would say, cruisers in the game. And look where his shells are going. Bupkis, right? I mean, literally went right by me. And that's because. The, sh the, 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 the juking ability of the Kabaroffs in this mode is freaking awesome. Notice I'm getting shot. This, you're going to see this exclamation point get literally lit up all the time. So finally somebody got a nice shot on me right there. I think it was the Hindenburg. So now we're going to speed up again, get behind this island duck for cover, and he misses his shots again, and that's exactly the power. And there's another set of shots going right behind us right there. We are now up to 1.3 million potential damage. We're also going to be a good destroyer player, help our team cap. And we're also going to say and start fires on more and more ships right there. So let's get another. Again, this legendary mod is redonkulous. All right, let's see if we can get more shots on Yoshino right here. Yep, Yoshino kiting away, of course. And we got to see as he's kiting away, we're going to bring it back closer. Ooh, here's the torpedoes. Now, here's the ability of the engine really just to speed up really, really quick right here and get us out of dodge. And oh, unfortunately, Gdansk is close enough to get 10-kilometer torps on the Holland. Uh, which is unfortunate. I never think that the, you can, the Gdansk could get a torpedo hit that close. And here we go. Let's see if we can get more damage on the uh, Yoshino here. He's already on fire. So really, we're just shooting superstructure to get more alpha damage right there. And let's see if we can get another one. Look at the arcs on this thing. I mean, we can even lob them over islands so far right now. Um, let's see. He is literally getting outside of Yosh the uh, Yoshino is getting outside of the uh, the back of the island. Okay, so we're not going to be able to get him right there. So we're going to go ahead and speed it up. And we're going to turn back around and see what other damage we can do to these ships on the eastern side. We got Alpha Bravo. Looks like Charlie's being overwhelmed. Look at that battleships running in the back, hiding behind islands. Um, yeah, th th this is not. Con and I understand the frustration on the enemy team that they're, you, your team is literally doing nothing. It's not. They're not doing anything to support you or help you. What's the point of playing your ship if you're not going to use it, right? So you can't take it with you when you go, you die, okay? You, you can't get, do anything with this. I mean, if so what? So what? You take damage. You can just hit the play button and start over again, guys. Come on. Uh, I'm getting mad at some of these battleship players. They're not doing anything. All right, so here we are. This is the nature of, uh, you know, warship gameplay. Let's hide behind an island. And uh, eventually when you do go out and push, you're not doing anything effective because now you're getting three fires lit on you. Look at that power. Look at that. four fires uh, burning Montana. Look how much damage is taken down. 1,000 damage a second. Every day. Look at that. Bam. He goes down. Second, First kill of our day. 130,000 damage. 1.3 million potential right there. Ridiculous. So let's see if we can push up here. And uh, what more effectiveness can we do right here? So, okay. Let's take a little shot at the Yoshino from the rear. Yeah. See if we can get... I mean, he's backing up. Wow. A backing up cruiser. It's not how you play a world, uh, ship. Okay, guys? I mean, you're supposed to be moving and kiting and... You're, you're not going to tank damage like this, especially with a Kabarov shooting at this far range, just having you, the way with you. And, yep, he's not going to... He's trying to uh, angle against Rhode Island. I could see why. 
So our goal is really just to fire. And this is my favorite spot right here. Look, yeah, he's shooting at us. I can't believe that. We're a bigger threat to him than the Rhode Island. Okay. That's interesting. So we're, we're going to shoot at the superstructure, especially a ship at this angle here. It's beautiful to my side because I, anywhere I shoot, the shells are going to hit somewhere. And it's just easy to hit. These kind of ships are here. And boom, splash two. My gosh, the Kabarov. So this is ridiculous. 14.8 kilometer uh, range. So what? if you don't know what the Legendary Mod, I'll put up a shot later. The uh, Legendary Mod basically uh, takes away your concealment. So you can see my concealment blooming out to about a, a blistering 8.7. But the reload is in, in decreased by 6%, and then your uh, range is increased by 20%. So you're, uh, you can see right now for this particular build, 14.8% ridiculous that is incredible that's like literally light cruiser range right there and really we have a, a concealment of 8.7 so you are really an awesome uh light cruiser but with the uh the armor of a uh, a little tanky tanky destroyer hard to hit hard to shoot at it's got 50 mil armor plating on it and of course you have no citadel so you're not really worried about taking those citadel hits so let's see if we can push for the objective right here and uh yep my gearing goes down and really that's the end of the game right there is nothing else this game is pretty much in the back i'll show another video in a minute yeah the hindenburg yeah we win this game pretty much a blowout hindenburg uh, just kiting in the back i don't know what the point of this is but let's take a look at another video and just look at what the legendary mod can do it's just devastating all right so here's another video with the kabarovsk uh just uh man just watch watch the fire what this thing is doing to basically gameplay right here it is literally like really toxic and <laughs> crazy what the cabros can do right here look i'm just gonna open up on the des moines I, I just don't care i mean at this range i'm not afraid that's what makes this game so comfortable now with the legendary mod and i didn't realize the potency and the power of what literally the legendary mod is providing and also doing to the enemy team and i don't know if this is healthy or whatever but man and does it make for some very interesting gameplay? Now, what I'm trying to do is bait this Des Moines to come out and shoot at me. Because this is what happened, I've noticed, in World of Warship players. They get so tunnel vision. And again, that is a very, as a pilot, I was always taught by my instructors, do not get in that sense of tunnel vision when you're doing an ILS approach or doing a tactical approach or whatever you may be doing. Uh, if you get that tunnel vision, you forget your surroundings. And it's literally just what it's like you say. Tunnel vision gets you so focused. And then, boom, there he goes. <laughs> Missouri. I blaps him like that because all I did was like, hey, shoot at me. And you forget what's around you. Again, that's another great lesson learned is know your surroundings. Know what you're fighting up against. If you don't know, if you're going into a battle ignorant, you're literally going to pay the price. And that's why I always say hit the tab button. Figure out who you're going up against. I got a lot of, you know, Annapolis, Conde super ships right there. I got a Ragnar radar threat. Shimakai is going to, of course, outspot me. And again, you got to know what's out there so you can actually plan accordingly and know, again, plan and literally execute. And that's exactly what you have to do. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm already spotted. I think that's a Shima out there spotting me because he out detects me. Maybe even the Ragnar. Uh, but right here, GK, uh, we're just going to open up on a 105. Now, watch this. 105,000 damage he, HP he has, right? Now, what can he do in this situation against me? He can use the secondaries all day long, but again, all I can do is kite. All I, really, what I'm supposed to do is kite away, run away, and just juke. And, and the, the problem with the auto secondary aiming is it's aiming for the center of your ship and leading for that. But the problem is if this, the destroyer player is competent enough and knows how to juke at that, it, you're literally shifting the aim for those computer automated systems over and over again, and it, they have to adjust. It takes time, and again, it takes time for the dispersion to tick up to get that accuracy. If he's building full secondary, full secondary build accuracy for the GK. Notice he's already down seventy-eight thousand, and this is the nature of battleship gameplay. Now it's literally, I mean, he is literally still in the back of his spawn right here, and the range of what this Kavarovs can do is go reach out and touch him, and he is either forced to run away, which is going to kill battleship gameplay, or do what I, I've encouraged people to do is push up. Now the problem is he's pushing up with no support. What's the Shimakaze going to do? Nothing. He's going to... The Shimakaze can't do anything other than smoke him up. And then it's really difficult to smoke up a GK that's firing. And of course, the rest of this team is in the back. Missouri hiding behind... Look at this. Way to go, Missouri gameplay, right? Hiding behind an island to, to cover from what? W what are you hiding from, you know? And literally, uh, again, killing killing good, uh, Battleship gameplay right here. You're literally going to nuke these uh, the, the gameplay to death. So what we're going to do here... At least this is fun and engaging for the Battleship player, right? I mean, he at least has a chance to shoot at me rather than I can't just go underwater and hide. And I can't just fly around him doing unlimited torpedo drops on him. At least I'm duking it, duking it out with him one-on-one, -on -one, mono -a mono and just keep firing it over and over again. And uh, he's just not choosing to fire at me because he finds that I'm not more of a threat to him. But actually, I'm the biggest threat to him right now. He just doesn't realize it. And I've always said, I'm trying to be a bigger threat to anybody out there. If you sh don't shoot at me, I'm going to burn you to death. And if you do shoot at me, I will fire back. So just keep that in mind as a battleship player. Uh, look, there's one fire. That's another problem. He doesn't have fire prevention, by the way. Oh, there's a second fire. Look, that is not fire prevention. Two, sh 
Two fires going on the superstructure right there. No fire prevention at all, which means I can start up to four fires. So that's our goal. Let's get another fire on the back of him right here. I think it's already on fire. Man, it's just enjoying to watch, right? It's very something soothing about this. I don't know. Just shooting at a superstructure of a ship. Yeah, we're doing tons and tons of damage. Yeah, just soak it in. Just enjoy it. This is gameplay today. Again, this is probably going to break the game because of, you know, legendary mods, Smolensk. I mean, I'm grateful that they didn't uh, have Smolensk anymore, but man, they uh, still have a Kabarov, and you still can get legendary mod. And he went from 105,000 HP, and he's down. At least he pushed to halfway point. He made it that far, so that's the gameplay style. He made it two blocks. Uh, where's the rest of his team? Yeah, okay. Where's my team? <laughs> At least he's Yamato is pushing up to an island. My gosh, thank you so much, Yamato. Who is Yamato? The Cool Kids 20. I'm going to have to do a shout out to you. You actually pushed in with the Yamato. Congrats. I am so proud of you because you're making the gameplay at least somewhat fun, right? So good job, the Cool Kids 20. Make a shout out to you as well. Battle Wagon Missouri right here. Way to go, brother, or, uh, for you to go out and shoot that Des Moines uh, and actually doing what teammates do is you see somebody getting shot at, a.k.a. me, and you actually return supporting fire to eliminate the threat. Way to go right there. Let's take a look at some more uh, burning gameplay damage. Take care. Let's take a shot at the Hindenburg. Hindenburg is somewhat deadly. Uh, I would say that's kind of an HE spamming ship, uh, but um, unfortunately, I feel like the Hindenburg is just not as viable as much as today because with the kind of ships like Wisconsin, Slava, just really laser focused AP ships, uh, ships that really just bury shells right into you. It's really difficult to play the Hindenburg these days. The concealment is just, if they made the concealment a little bit better, so you can actually push up a little closer rather than just sit in the back and HE spam, <laughs> like what I'm doing right here. You could be a little bit better viable uh, cruiser, but uh, you uh, might as well just play Kabaros because Kabaros, I can do way more stuff than Hindenburg can. At least I'm going in and capping, right? I'm going to hunt down destroyers, right? see here uh, see we get some nice shots yeah man it's just enjoyable playing this it's just comfortable and nice and relaxing to shoot from this distance and you know it's we're doing some insane wacko wacky damage here so now people are shooting at one look again look at my potential damage 1.1 million right here in the first eight minutes of the game look at that okay we don't get a fire so he doesn't burn now okay so this is nature game look at that. all three caps point where where's the enemy team where are they uh, way in the back here, uh, Wisconsin at least trying to push up. Hindenburg, Missouri, well, still haven't seen the Missouri yet. Way in the back here, Goliath in the back. Shimikaze will do Shimikaze things, and um, that's it. Here comes some more torpedoes. I wonder if this counts as potential damage. Yeah, it does. That does count as potential. You're getting shot out with torpedoes, so dodging torpedoes as well. We're taking, we're soaking up the damage, ladies and gentlemen. We're trying to kill that um, that uh, Shimikaze there, speeding up. It's here, Goliath. Yep, sitting in the back. It's just such a comfortable distance to be firing at. I mean, you're not exposing yourself too, too much to close. I think I'd say anything less than 10 is starting to put yourself into that, hey, they can hit you a little bit more. But at this, like, 12, 11, maybe even 14 range, very, very easy to hit, with, especially with these accurate guns of the Kabaroffs. You notice we're still spotted by the Shimo, but what can he do? What's he going to do? Push the cap? Nope, can't do anything. He's not going to push against a Sh I know a Shima is not going to push up against a Kabaros, trust me. Especially if you, I'm just going to sit in the cap all day. He can try to torpedo me all day long, but his torpedo reload is so long, it's difficult. Uh, Edgar is at least pushing up, trying to take on the Goliath right there. Again, we're just loitering in Alpha, because we already got all the caps. What more can we do? I mean, this is the nature of gameplay right now. If only play players play the objective. I remember Flame used to say that. And just look at this. We're just going to soak up 3,000 damage. Look at that. Look at that. Shoot, shooting on the broadside uh, Goliath. Now, the AP is somewhat decent. I just haven't seen any too much effectiveness in it. I, I like the HE more because I'm trying to start fires, and that's the power of the Kabrovs. Starting tons and tons of fires. Even with the back two turrets. I mean, it's just easy to aim, easy to hit. I mean, we're still getting hits. Look at that. Two turrets still hitting, providing 500 damage. So that's half the HP right there. Let's see if we can get all four guns connecting right here. Just throwing nice, easy lobbing shells up in the area. Now, what's the Goliath going to do? He's just going to stop firing. Wow. If a destroyer can shut you down and just have you to stop firing, and we get another fire. Bread and butter right there, ladies and gentlemen. Fire starter. This thing is a kerosene lighter. Oh, more damage. We're going to stop firing. I think he's at that, for the, I mean, right about that 14 kilometer range. It's just uh, probably the cutoff point. But wait a second. Oh, he's still burning. Oh, let's just try to get this guy down. Let's, oh, he goes undetected finally. Let's see if we can get in a couple more hits. Come on, baby. Get a fire. Is it still fire? Oh, he damaged gone. Yeah, it's not ticking up anymore. Wow, he damaged gone right at the last minute right there. 
Oh, he got all his health. He's got that super heal, the British super heal. So that's the Goliath for you, Ray Allen. Yep, all you can do is just hang out in the back. Let's just speed it up here. Get this kind of boring. Yay, another fire. And he's down. Yeah, he disappeared. All right, he's off the map. So there's nothing more we can do right here. Uh, we will see. Where's the Shima? I'm so worried about the Shimakaze. Where is it? I'm just going to guard Alpha. Because if we just guard Alpha, we win. Look at the, the top. I remember the, the score ticker. Oh, he, he is trying to cap Alpha. So if we literally, we're at 931 points, I believe. If we literally just kill this guy, we win. I mean, oh, there he is. Last Destroyer. Here we go. Doing your job as a Destroyer player. Even the front two guns are deadly against destroyers. Okay, we're going to get all four guns to bear right now. And, oh, my gosh, he just took a massive hit in the middle there. Super, uh, boom, he's gone. That's the game right there. I mean, he can't do anything. We got the cap. We can win this on uh, time now. And he goes down. Man, power of the Kabarov's legendary mod. Definitely recommend. And even people are saying new meta. Yeah, this is the new meta. It's a spamming HE destroyer. 1.6 million damage, 126,000 damage. A ridiculous amount of firepower. Do I recommend this build? Absolutely. If you want to be that sitting in the back, at a safe distance, kind of spamming, AG spamming, kind of spell lens but gameplay, this is a ship for you. If you wanted to be more of an attack role of a destroyer up and close and personal, this is not the ship for you because you're spotted from the moon. 126,000 damage, 401 shots, one kill, six fires, capping, contested capturing points. Man, is this ridiculous. A super, super powerful ship right there. Way to go. Uh, way to go for the Yamato for pushing up. Way to go. I, I got to be proud of you right there. Uh, see, we can you can you compliment? No, I can't compliment on this. The replay. Holy cow, 1.6 million potential damage. Spotting damage, good. Very good fire starting, 36,000, 90,000 damage. Oh my gosh, we were doing a bulk of the damage. Literally, We literally melted the GK right there, 75,000 damage, taking out the Shima. At the end there, you can still be a Destroyer Hunter in this thing. Super powerful. I really do uh, think this build is uh, definitely recommended if you like to play that type of play style. If you want to be more in close and personal, don't run Legendary Mod. Just run the normal build. It's just as viable as well. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Build will be at the end of the screen. Hope you're doing well. As always, you guys stay safe. Uh, say hi to me when you see me out there. Like, subscribe, button below. Another at 4,000 premium subs. We're going to do another, I'm sorry, at 4,000 subs, we're going to do another premium giveaway. As always, hope you guys will be staying safe out there. Until we see you next time, take care. Cheers.